Today we're going to be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts part number 7843 into your Ford F-150 tow mirrors. Ford F-150s, model year 2018 and newer, have a temperature sensor in the passenger side mirror. If your mirror did not come equipped with a temperature sensor, you will receive a check engine light and your air conditioning may not work. This will resolve this. Ford uses two different types of connectors depending on the application. Pictured on the left is the 22 pin connector. Pictured on the right is the 8 pin connector. The Boost Auto Parts wiring kit with temperature sensor is compatible with both the 22 pin and the 8 pin. Now, irregardless of whether you're installing this onto 8 pin or 22 pin mirrors, this harness is always installed on the passenger side. It will never be installed on the driver's side, always the right-hand passenger side. Now we're going to go ahead and show you what comes in with part number 7843. So included in the kit, you will have a wiring harness as well as a temperature sensor. These should be the only things you need to re resolve your check engine light. This kit is probably made in the USA. Now this harness does have two ends. The side on the left over here is going to be the end that the temperature sensor plugs into. And then on the right you can see we have four pre-terminated wires over there. These are labeled 22 pin and 8 pin. You will use one or the other. This install is shown with the mirrors on the bench. However, it can be performed with the mirrors on the vehicle. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do if we have the 22 pin mirror shown here, we're going to want to go ahead and remove this foam gasket should just kind of pull off, be careful not to damage it. So we'll just set that off to the side. And then we want to go ahead and remove the actual 22 pin connector. It's just kind of slid onto a little boss on there so you should just be able to slide it right out. What you want to do is go ahead and locate the mirror connector and then you'll see there's this red lock on the side. It's going to be on both sides of the connector. You're going to push down on both sides of that red lock to unlock it. Well, this allows you to insert the terminals. And then you want to go ahead and locate the portion of the wiring harness that's labeled as 22 pin. When you insert the terminal, you want to insert them with the crimp facing just like this. The terminals will only go in one way. Now the first terminal we're going to insert is going to be with the brown with white stripe that's going to go into slot 2. So again, slot 2, you can see here's the latch at the top of the connector. It's going to be in the top row, one over from the right. Uh, your wire colors for the other locations may vary, so you want to go off pin location as primary reference. So again, we have that crimp facing up. We're going to go ahead and insert it into slot 2. And you just want to verify on the other side of the connector that the pin is slid all the way up. It should lock into place. And now we're going to take the pink wire with the black tracer that's labeled with the 22 pin and place it into pin 6. Pin 6 is going to be 6 over from the right. In this case it's between a red wire and a red wire with yellow stripe, however the wire color may vary. So again you're going to place it in there with the crimp facing this direction, so we'll just go ahead and slide it in. And again, we're just going to make sure that the pin slid all the way up through the proper hole. Now again, this red lock is going to be on both sides. You're just going to go ahead and take your fingers and press it down. You should kind of feel it latch into place, just like so. That'll go ahead and hold the terminals in place. Now in this case, the mirrors were 22 pin mirrors. So there's also the 8 pin terminals. You'll just go ahead and cut the 8 pin terminals off. So you can see here, after cutting off the terminals, we went ahead and put tape on each wire individually. It's incredibly important that these two wires do not touch. So first we went ahead and taped each wire individually after cutting off the terminal. Then we're just going to go ahead and tape them both back to the harness out of the way. This is a universal har harness for 8-pin and 22-pin mirrors. So it's normal that you're not going to use the extra wires. So if you have 22-pin mirrors, you won't use the 8-pin. If you have 8-pin, you won't use the 22-pin. So again, we tape them individually and then tape them both back out of the way. We'll go ahead and plug in the temperature sensor provided by Boost Auto Parts. There's this little groove on the connector. We're just going to go ahead and put the connector back into the original location. It should kind of slide on this tab right up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tuck the temperature sensor wires. In this case, we're just going to put it into the base of the mirror as shown here. Uh, you can run these behind the glass if you'd like a more accurate temperature sensor reading. This is primarily used for this temperature sensor readout on the dash, so it's not incredibly important that it's in an accurate location. However, you will get an inaccurate reading on your dash if you don't put it in a good location. Uh, this location, however, will work for getting rid of the check engine light. 
Now you'll just go ahead and place the foam gasket back on. You just want to make sure all your wires are tucked back in so that when you bolt this on, nothing gets pinched. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do it if you have 8-pin mirrors. Again, that 8-pin connector is going to look something like that. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the foam gasket. Just being careful not to damage it. And then you can see this connector is just kind of sitting on a boss. We're just going to go ahead and remove that connector. And now you should see that there's this little red lock on the side. It'll be on both sides. Let's go ahead and slide that up and it should unlock it. Now this is a universal kit, so we're showing the install now on an 8-pin. You'll just want to go ahead and use the terminals labeled 8-pin shown here off to the left. This first terminal is going to be inserted with the crimp facing up towards the top of the connector, just like this. So the brown wire with white stripe is going to go into slot 2. You want to go off the slot number as primary reference as the wire colors may vary. In this case it's going to be between a yellow and a gray. However it should be an empty slot and we're just going to go ahead and slide it up and in. You should feel a grab. Now we're going to go ahead and place in the pink wire with black tracer into slot 6. Slot 6 is located directly on the other side of the brown wire with white tracer. It should be an empty slot, and again this is on the passenger side. In this case it's between a solid red and a solid blue. However, wire color may vary, so please go off pin location as primary reference. The crimp is going to face the opposite direction of the brown wire with white tracer. So just go ahead and locate pin 6 and slide it in. All right, and then once the pins are in, you're just going to go ahead and lock the red lock. Now again, if you use the 8-pin wires, you're going to go ahead and cut off the 22-pin wires. Okay, so after you've cut the terminals off, uh, it's really important that these do not touch each other or short out. So you can see we've taped each of them individually with some electrical tape uh, shown right like this. And then you're just going to tape them back to the harness. So it's important that you tape them individually, and then you can tape the entire thing back together. So again, this is a universal harness for both 8 and 22 pins, so it's completely normal that you don't use two of the terminals. I'll go ahead and plug in the sensor provided by Boost Auto Parts. Now you'll see there's a groove on the side of this 8 pin connector. We'll just go ahead and slide it back into the mirror base. And now you can see we went ahead and coiled up the wires. We're going to go ahead and tuck that back into the base of the mirror, just making sure it's completely out of the way so nothing can get, you know, pinched or anything like that. If you'd like a very accurate reading, you can go ahead and place that temperature sensor way into the mirror behind the glass so that it's exposed to some outside air. In this location, it will work. Uh, it may not be the most accurate reading. It's primarily used for the readout on your dash, so it might not be the most accurate reading. However, if you do clear the code, it will get rid of the check engine light. So again, we've just tucked it back in. You just want to make sure the wires are all the way back so nothing can short out. I'm just go ahead and carefully put the foam gasket back on. And just like that, your installation is complete. If you did have a check engine light from your temperature sensor, you will need to clear it with a code reader. It will not disappear on its own. After clearing it with a code reader, the code should not reappear. After replacing the temperature sensor, a reset procedure must be performed. To do this, select the AC and recirculation buttons simultaneously. Release both buttons, and within two seconds, select the AC button again. This should relearn the ambient air temperature sensor. To purchase this harness or other accessories or parts for your Ford truck, visit us on our website at BoostAutoParts.com.